Today, I'm gonna show you three rules that have made me millions of dollars in crypto since 2014, and I'm gonna share these rules with you. And I think you might find it very beneficial. So I want you to get your pen and uh, your pad out, and I want you to document and write down these rules as I think they might help you in your journey into cryptocurrency over the next few years and beyond. So let's get straight into it. I'm gonna to refer to my notes on my laptop computer, so when I look down, and by the way, it is 20 something degrees out here, so that's why I have my blockchain coat on this morning. Okay, first rule, yield. So I wanna talk about real estate. As you guys know, I've been doing real estate for over three decades. And with real estate, can you imagine buying a building and not collecting rent on it and just praying that the valuation of that building just goes up? Now, a lot of people do this in crypto. They'll buy Bitcoin, for example, but they're earning zero yield on this. It's a really big deal. And one thing we do in the Ugly Unicorn Crypto Fund is we earn yield. How do we do this? we provide liquidity to decentralized exchanges. What does that mean? When they trade, when you trade, let's say Ethereum for whatever token, there is an exchange fee. Normally, centralized exchanges like Coinbase will collect that fee and that's how they make profit on their P&L. We provide those liquidity tokens and in uh, return the majority of those profits to our investors. So pretty darn cool, right? That's rule one, earn yield. So write that down. Second thing, Bitcoin has pretty much now hit all time highs. And the problem though is your brother-in-law who's broke is going to be talking about this at family get togethers. And that's when you know that it's pretty expensive. Now it doesn't mean it's a bad deal to buy, but people right now that are accumulating only Bitcoin or large cap assets like that are kind of buying really at the top. Now, again, there's probably more room to appreciate with the halving and other news that's coming out, but um, there is a lot of money that could be left on the table and be very, very ready to take massive corrections in Bitcoin in the short term. So, you know, those of you now that are seeing it, the $73,000 range, do not be surprised if you see it flash crash in a short period of time significantly and then possibly rise up. Where we invest most of our investor money now is mid and small cap because that's where they're still off 70%, 60%, 80%, 90% of all time highs. That's where we believe the opportunity is. So for our fund members, uh, there's, there's really not even the bull run uh, that's gone into full effect yet. So the upside is very, very large in my opinion. Okay, so let's go to the next one, security. Uh, if you're keeping your money on a centralized exchange, uh, it's very dangerous. If that exchange goes bankrupt, you could lose all your money. You've seen this happen to FTX and all kinds of exchanges through the years. Mt. Gox back in the day. Uh, so it can be very dangerous to keep it there. Our hard wallet is another alternative. And there's all kinds of funky wallets people have been telling me about. Be careful. There are Chinese manufactured chips on a lot of these wallets that you buy off the internet that can basically have a backdoor to your crypto. Also on hard wallets, you're not totally secure because if you have open contracts that aren't revoked when you've engaged in a project, you could have your crypto stolen overnight. I've had friends have had hundreds of thousands, millions of dollars aggregately stolen because they did not have their security protocols right. So if you have a ledger or a treasure or any of those things or any sort of funky one, I wouldn't sleep too well because you could wake up with zero crypto in your wallet. At the Ugly Unicorn Crypto Hedge Fund, we use uh, multi-factor authentication on separate geolocated devices with biometric approvals for most of our trades. And the cool thing is all the transactions happen on offline private servers before they hit the blockchain. And we have a standard operating procedure to revoke uh, contracts after engagement. Very important. If you don't understand this, though, uh, I'm not going to explain this, how to do this here, because the software we spend and the server farm that we spend, we spend hundreds of thousands of dollars a year just on security. And we do this to assure our investors that they have the highest level of security that we can provide. All right. I'm going to actually add uh, rule four here, fraud protection. So I know I told you three, but here's one more. Uh, 
a third party admin is really important. A lot of you guys are looking at crypto projects out there. Most of them are scams. 99% of the ones you are going to be presented with, especially in Utah, are Ponzi schemes. And they will generate fake reports and send that to you. How do we assure that everything is real for our investors? Third party admin. We use a third party administrator who manages over 2,000 funds nationally, hedge funds. And every transaction that happens is documented. We also use a fourth party auditing firm, accounting firm to validate those numbers as well. And that way you have the assurance that you have the highest level of audit that we can provide at this time with third and fourth party auditing. So it's very, very critical to have that with any investment that you invest in. If you can't see that they've been third party admin and audited, then you probably have a problem because they're probably hiding something. And uh, you guys have probably seen so many scams happen and so many horror stories. So just be very careful of that um, when you're investing in anything. So Bridger and I have greatly increased our personal deployments in the last little bit into our own fund. It was interesting the other day, I heard somebody pitch a fund and I asked him, how much of your own money have you invested in this fund? And they're like, zero. I'm like, well, how, you, how do you expect uh, people to invest in your fund if you don't even bet on yourself? And so I like, and Bridger, my partner, like to invest in our own funds because we believe in what we're doing. Now, the thing is, our Ugly Unicorn Crypto Fund is only open to accredited investors, okay? So very important uh, that uh, you're accredited. And our minimum deployment is normally 250000 Sometimes we have some friends and family spots that become available because some people fail to become accredited because they traded it on their own. And so the minimum deployment there is hundred grand. If you're a home gamer, please watch my videos and also study up on security, uh, contract, uh, approvals, revocations, ledger security, VPNs, segregated devices, and all these things. Because if you don't have all that security, uh, you could be vulnerable. And never keep large amounts of money on centralized exchanges. Never, never, never keep large amounts of money there. Because again, if they bankrupt, you could lose your money. Not to say that you can't store some, but just not your whole bag, okay? So that's the information for the day. Uh, I think that the market will continue to have optimistic behavior up to the halving. We have uh, Ethereum code update happening today, which is kind of freaking cool. Um, so it should make gas fees lower, they say. Um, and then, of course, pending Ethereum ETFs coming up. So if you're interested in the Ugly Unicorn Crypto Hedge Fund and you're accredited, direct message me if you're a home gamer. Keep watching my videos. These videos are free, so please share this on your social media so you can help educate your friends and family so they have a better chance of not getting ripped off. I love you guys. I'm going to go and make it happen for you today.